Jersey. I would pop it, but I can't get a hold of it. <laughs> this thing is so tight. I have no air. I feel like Clooney and Bullock in the movie Gravity at the end. They're like, God, this is tight. This is almost as tight as when Krug wore that warrior jersey. <laughs> Maybe not that tight. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? asking for this. I, this is a, by the way, if you don't know, this is the authentic XFL San Francisco Demons jersey is what it is. And it says T-squared on the back. Uh, I think I told you at some point that I have arthritis. That's why I can't lift my shoulder. That's not the case. I can't lift it this time because the damn jersey's so tight. How does somebody fit shoulder pads underneath this thing? I mean, this is insane this jersey and I was like oh it'd be so cool get me an authentic XFL jersey and when they came to town they gave me one I wish I would have had just a regular one not that I'd wear it but <laughs> this thing I wonder how much this thing go for on eBay a real XFL and uh, hey look props to you if you can name one guy on that team I tried to come up with one today without cheating and going on uh, Google couldn't do it can't think of one guy on that football team not one uh, all right, let's get to the beer. I can't promise you the beer is going to go down. This jersey is so tight, it may spit it back up. My esophagus may reject the beer. There's just no room for beer and air uh, to both inhabit uh, the, the windpipe and esophagus and trachea all at one time. This thing is damn tight, though. Now, this one's called the Friend Zone. Uh, it's a collaboration between Central Coast Brewing in San Luis Obispo and Wild Fields. Never heard of them in Atascadero, Atascadero, California. Never heard of them, never heard of that city. And I've lived in California pretty much my entire life, so I'm kind of excited to try this because it's a West Coast IPA. If you don't know the difference between West Coast and New England IPAs, New England IPAs are the hazy ones. West Coast are the clear ones. And the West Coast usually have a little more bite to them. They're a little bitter. So I, I, I dig both styles. West Coast were the first ones uh, that came around, so I'm pretty sure I've had Central Coast. They got some pretty good beer. I've never had uh, Wild Fields, though. Okay, I made it. Woo! Mm. Sound like Mr. Ed. Yeah, you know, I'm doing getting ready for the Derby. Woo. Maybe I'll have a Derby pick for it next time we... Uh, we do these, maybe not, I have no idea. Uh, what was that, they had the alcohol content on here too. 6%, so that's reasonable. That's not gonna sting you uh, too bad. And the can is kind of like a Rod Serling. I can. Is it working? No, okay. That'd give it a shot. You guys aren't even looking at the can anyway. You're like, dude, how do you get in that jersey? There's no way he got in that jersey. And I did get in this jersey, somehow. It's gonna be hell getting off of it, though. I might need getting it off. I might need some butter. Just throw some butter down between this and my skin and my shirt and just see if I can peel this bad boy off. Uh, this is probably the last time it ever goes on. Last time this thing ever goes on. It'd be a family heirloom. I could pass it down and the great grandkids could go, check this out. Your grandpa had an XFO jersey. And then hopefully I'd be so proud if one of my great, great, great grandkids just stood up and went, this is the XFL. That would be like awesome. I'll be dead, I won't get to see it. It'd be pretty cool anyway. Anyway, let's get to where you can find this beer. Uh, South Manchester Barbecue, of course. Our friends down in San Jose, who not only have fantastic barbecue, but they procure all this great beer from you, from all over the place. You don't have to go do it. They will go do it for you. So you're not going down to San Luis Obispo. You're not going down to uh, Tadescadero or whatever, something like that. You, you don't have to. You just go to San Jose and you grab a beer, grab some barbecue. I always say bring your pup along with you if you want to. Uh, go out on the patio, enjoy a nice day out there. So if you're looking for great beer, looking for great barbecue, you know where to go. 
And when you're down there, I would check this out. I like it. The Friend Zone, a collab. Wild Fields and Central Coast Brewing. Enjoy, everybody, and thank you very much again to South Winchester Barbecue for sponsoring this fiasco.